Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X. So, we can talk to Yuna over here. It's automatic. And we'll get a, an interesting cutscene about, you know, people and stuff and things that are going on. I guess. And then we have a ton to do. Hey. You got pretty good. You sound sad. Yeah, I just found out my father's the devil. Scream? Mm. I really don't think that's gonna help this time. You know what? Hmm? This is really sad. This is a super sad, sad like summoners and their guardians dialogue from her. Kind of like Spira's ray of light. A lot of people in Spira depend on us. I learned to practice smiling when I'm feeling sad, you know. <laughs> I know it's hard. Yeah. I understand. I think. Right. Now let's see what you can do. Huh? Come on. Uh. Trying to smile must be hard. I mean, I can't. I look ridiculous regardless, so. <laughs> this is weird. Next, try laughing out loud. What? Come on, show me. And this is like her response to his laugh is fantastic. So weird. You probably shouldn't laugh anymore. <laughs> She's just like, um, you're, you sound crazy. So yeah, so they're they're both nuts. <laughs> Too funny. It was your idea. That's true. <laughs> um, thank you. Huh? I want my journey to be full of laughter. Okay. If we should get separated, just whistle. There's the entire plot I'm of the coming. second game. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. <laughs> the entire second game revolves around whistling. Mm. I'm kind of kidding. Kinda. <laughs> like. Well, let's go. All right. And this is the this is the obvious response. What are you looking at? We were just worried you guys might have gone crazy. And they did. Sorry. Well then, all right. And why? Right. <laughs> how do we will go to the temple at Jose? She apologizes. And guardians, don't forget to smile. She apologizes for everything. I mean, it's it's absolutely ridiculous. I get the idea of like, you know, the, I mean, she's a very young you know woman, and the, it's the, it's kind of the stereotype, but. Now, one of the things, uh, okay, first off, uh, where are we, Mission High Road? This is going to be a very long area of the game. I mean, it's geographically very long. Just a straight road goes nowhere. So, Traveler's Save Sphere Level 2, thanks to the Beset Oryx achievements, Save Spheres are now able to teleport you to the Blitzball Stadium. Many denizens of Spira are avid Blitzball players. Talk to them with Square to scout them. Sign the best players in Spira and lead the Beset Aurochs to victory. 
So, uh, that's a thing, and we are, <laughs> we're gonna be doing it at some point. Just recruiting people to play Blitz Blitzball. The reason being, uh, playing Blitzball has something to do with uh, some achievements later on. Winning a certain number of Blitz Blitzball games. I am not gonna make you watch a whole bunch of Blitzball games. Okay, I don't think that there's anything over here. There, there, now, there are gonna be random enemy encounters here and stuff, so... All right, let's go deal with this guy. This is a statue of Lord Meehan. Eight centuries ago, he founded a legion known today as the Crusaders. In just a few short years after their founding, their ranks grew throughout Spira. The Maesters of Yevon feared an uprising and accused them of rebellion. So Lord Meehan walked along this very road to go face their charges and refute them. He succeeded in winning the Maester's trust, and his legion became an arm of the Yevin clergy. It was then that Yevin gave them the name Crusaders, which they have kept ever since. And the rest is history. Okay, so if you think, like, this guy and his little diatribes, like, will wear you out in the second game. <laughs> I know I talk about the second game a lot, but I'm remembering a lot of it from playing this, so... All right, tutorial time, people. Ha, that one looks slow. It's also tough. Let me handle this. No way, I can take it. No, we can't. What the? <laughs> so there we go. Told you, Sir Orange, the best. <laughs> I could have done that. Now without a weapon with piercing ability, you couldn't. All right, so that was our automatic battle there. Nothing over there, huh? All right then. Oh crap! Damn it! Why would you do that? Double attack was so ridiculous. Thank you. All right. Clearly want Orin in on this one. And um, why not? Yeah, take a shot at Orin, man. Like, he could take it. I'm actually just gonna cure her and get her out of there, but... Bring somebody else in. Maybe not, actually. Because he really needs it now. Well, he missed her. Alright, well, let's bring out somebody who could use the experience. I wonder if Lulu can kill this thing with magic. So, how shall we do this? Here's a shot. Burn. That was creepy. I got an ability sphere. Do you know what those ruins are from? Some old city? Correct. A city most ancient. A terrible testament to sin's power. I tremble every time I see them. <laughs> Compared to sin, humans are mere mud puppies. Hey! But I believe humans are the only ones capable of defeating sin. A good reply. I am relieved to hear you say that, Milady Summoner. Oh? Where are my manners? I am matron, a scholar, at your service, Milady. I am on a journey 
studying the history of our world, Spira, seeking its stories and secrets. My travels have taken me to many places, and I am troubled by what I have seen. Fragile smiles on people's faces, crumbling at the mere mention of sin. They are counting on you, milady. Give them a reason to rejoice once more. I will. Good. Now, I... Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, um, no, nah, I don't know what I was going to say. There is a treasure chest behind here. We need another random encounter. I really need to get Yuna up to her overdrive at this point. Um, so. Lady Summoner, I presume. You presume correct. Yes, I am Yuna. I am Lucille, captain of the Jose Chocobo Knights. And I'm Alma. We've been charged to guard the high road. Good. There have been reports of a large fiend appearing in this area with the taste for chocobos. Well, we don't have chocobos. Do take care, Samani Yuna, if you are to rent any chocobos. Oh. Thank you. We will be careful. And we... Good. We should get back to our rounds. Farewell. And we will indeed be renting our a chocobo. prayers are with you. Just, you know, not today. Maybe tomorrow. All right. A large fiend? Hmm. Let's go get him. Why? Why? It's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. <laughs> What'd I say now? Jekt said that a lot, too. <laughs> and every time he said it, it meant trouble for Vraska and me. <laughs> All right, good. Hopefully this will... We really need... I know it's weird, but we really need some sort of attack on Yuna. Um, so let's bring her out. Go. And I don't know if she can... See if she can hit this thing. Wow, good for her. All right. So we'll eliminate those two. I don't want to escape. I want to hit this thing in the face. Stop attacking, Orin. Just for that, I'm going to cure him. I know this seems weird. I really need this overdrive, though. Bring it walk out. Bring it on. Ah, just attack you now. That still didn't do it. Crap. Healer, healer, cure thyself. There we go. All right. So, uh, what we have to do is we just want to go in here and we talk to this lady. Summoner? My name is Belgamine. You are? My name is Yuna. Ah, the High Summoner's daughter. I've heard much of you. But you are still fresh on the road, are you not? Yes, I am. I might have a few things to teach you. Hmm? Let us see which are stronger. My Aeons or yours? A one-on-one -on -one match. Not to the death, of course. 
What do you say? We have to fight her. <laughs> I'll do my best. This is really hard. Good. Before we begin. But she will heal her aeons because she's a sport. Your aeons have been healed. You can fight with your full strength. Come. So, uh, she will actually summon, uh, the Afrit Ion. Or Aeon. So we don't have a choice because there can only be one, one Aeon of uh, each type on the battlefield. Because they're a physical, they're a unique physical being, essentially. Ooh, no, we want Grand Summon. All right. So we'll energy ray him and uh, hopefully we can get two of these into the battle because I think that's the only way we can win. Like mathematically. Okay, and now it'll tell us uh, like, yeah, and then rise with those with summoner. So this is a free summoner called by a very different one. Um, before the street strength and high, you're both high. We'll win in the straight fight. Try using your hand shield and boost command. Um, so shield is best. Uh, we're, we're actually just going to alternate with shield. Oh, crap. That's garbage. Yeah, now he'll regular attack us. Now we want a shield because he's going to do that thing again. The Meteor Strike, and this will actually reduce it quite a bit. Um, now hopefully he'll hit us, knock us into overdrive. Ooh, nice. So this is better do it, because if it doesn't, his... Uh, Nope, he killed us. It's a shame, because we can't refight her. You get an echo ring for uh, for beating her. You have a lot to learn. Well, you don't fight fair, and I made a strategical mistake. So we get a Seeker's Ring instead. You show promise. With more training, you could defeat Sin. Thank you. But I think you might defeat Sin before I am able to. I cannot. Huh? Or should I say, I was not able to. You mean... Farewell, Yuna. We'll meet again. Well, I hope that... It, I hope they explain that at some point. Now, I will probably, um... You know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video here. I will fight back to this, and I'm going to win. And I will show you guys that. So uh, you guys take care, and bye, everybody.